Hey guys, just a quick update video on Iron Farms in 1.14.3 pre-release 2. As you might know, you need to supply the villagers now with workstations and beds for them to spawn golems. If you don't do so, there's a cooldown time of 30 minutes, so if, you ha if they haven't slept or worked within that time frame, uh, they would stop spawning golems. Right, the rest of the farm is quite similar to the pre-release 1 version. So we got packs of villagers uh, that are getting scared by a pillager in the middle. At the moment the farm is turned off, so the pillager doesn't have direct eye contact with the villagers. Yeah, now it also turned night time. Let's set it today again. Yeah, let's also turn the farm on really quick. So we're ra uh, lowering the pillager. And then, yeah, we spawn golems. We also do that here with this farm since we're using portals uh, with an interval of five seconds in between. So now the next layer would spawn a golems. And we have that uh, delay of five seconds in between just to keep the portals cached so we don't get that initial lag spike all the time. The golems are sent to the nether dimension where they are killed by entity cramming again. You don't need to worry about any chunk loading, the only thing you need to take care of is let's actually go to the nether real quick, is that you have um, the killing cell within the same chunk as the portal. So as you can see here, put it in the middle of the chunk. Uh, if you're now in the overworld of your player, then that one chunk is staying entity loaded. So as long as you have everything in, in that chunk, can also have this in single player, so you don't get thousands of golems if you go to the nether next time. If you, yeah, take care of that. Then what else is yeah interesting? Um, the villagers now also need to sleep and work, but of course they can't do so if they're getting panicked by the presence of the pillager. So that's why we have to raise the pillager up every now and so often, uh, so they have time to sleep and work. First idea was to do that at certain you know, times of the day using a daylight sensor, but unfortunately there were some issues with the villagers not working. Methods also tried around quite a bit, and in the end he came to the conclusion that he would need to keep the yeah, pillager out of sight almost a complete day in order to have the villagers reliably working and sleeping. Then Double Moses actually came up with an idea to uh, raise the pillager up every time the golems would spawn. As you can see here, just did that and the villagers for a moment were able to work. It just happened. And that seems to be reliable. But yeah, there's some issues with that. For example, if you would load the farm always in the wrong moment, so you have it only running at daytime, then you leave, go to the nether or somewhere else on over it, come back at daytime again, you could get in a cycle where the villagers would never sleep for 30 minutes and then just stop spawning golems and then the pillager also doesn't get raised up anymore. So it's not a perfect system, but in case you would always turn the farm off and then back on again, it would obviously work. But uh, yeah, the other slight problem with it is that every time a golem spawns, which is every 35 seconds, we actually trigger the mechanism to raise the, the pillager up. It would definitely be better if you only have to do so twice a day in order to save on lag. But it's working right now this way, um, but I really hope that this issue is getting fixed in the future. There are actually even more problems with the POI system, so what do you have to do if you want to build a farm like this, is you always need to place down one bed and one workstation and then move the villager in so they're getting assigned to the correct workstation. So we have uh, dividing trapdoors here between the villagers to reduce lag. Uh, I don't put them all in the same spot uh, surrounded with beds and workstations because uh, yeah, entities touching each other would create extra lag. So that's why I have the dividing walls in between. Um, but there's also an issue with that system, for example here, this villager for some reason decided not to take this bed. Um, and I killed the villager about 10 times, also removed the bed about 10 times, nothing seems to work and I had this issue actually a couple of times. Um, so it seems like the POI system also doesn't work properly, so I gave up uh, with this farm after about 6 layers, uh, because this was just such a pain uh, to build up. So here we have another villager that just refuses to sleep. You could also try to replace him. Doesn't work at all. There's nothing really I can do for some reason. This position, the villager just doesn't sleep. Kind of weird. Alright, I would definitely recommend to not build your iron farm right now. 
um, because yeah, those POI issues should definitely be addressed first. And maybe also the concept is changing. So at the moment we're using a tripwire hook here to detect the iron golems. By the way, the tripwire has to be one block above the spawning floor, otherwise it would actually prevent the iron golem spawning. Um, so I definitely would yeah, recommend once we you can do it uh, to have a time of the day detection system either via daylight sensor or have a dummy villager that you could uh, detect if it's sleeping or working and then just send a signal through the whole iron farm. Alright, so that's it for the day. In case you want to check it out, there's a link in the video description to the world download. And I would definitely recommend to wait at least until 1.14.3 is out before you start building an iron farm because who knows uh, what's getting changed next. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.